Crouching down. Listen up. I'm your contact in the trench. That means you follow my instructions or you end up worse than dead inside the rat pits. I'm sending you a location to meet me at. If you can make it there without dying, you'll do just fine. Probably. I'll be ready when the mission is through. That if we breathe in the fumes for too long here, we might end up going back a little different than we came. I happen to like myself perfectly good how I am, so try not to linger, huh? Just give me the word when you're through here. This train ain't so scary. Fanatics, this place will not do anything. to help you survive out here. That's not important. I know who you are, you know who I am. What is important is knowing how to survive out here. Wear some radiation gear. If you didn't need it where you come from, you'll need it here. Unless you want to look like a Picasso portrait in a couple of hours. In case you haven't been acquainted with Trogs yet, don't mistake them for humans. Their flesh is like ours, they crawl on all fours and spit acid. Get back before sundown. Trust me on that, and I'll explain later. We're hitting the Sanctum today, but we need to make some preparations first. You ready for instructions? If you need confirmation I'm the right contact, I'm Danilo. Otherwise, my identity is not important to the mission. Neither are pleasantries. I'm an independent party. I have knowledge that can help people, so I decided to use it. Made an arrangement with a union member I knew. They send me go-getters confident enough to risk their lives here. I help them rescue civilians. And no, I'm not getting paid. I have my own reasons for doing this. It's a radioactive wasteland that eats up anyone stupid enough to wander in. Safe spots are few and far between. It's near impossible to get out alive if you don't know what you're doing. It makes it a perfect prison. The fanatics... realized that. And they're taking full advantage of it. We're hitting the Sanctum, a former Union safe house taken over by fanatics. But we need to make some preparations out here in the trench before we head inside. I hope that's enough information for you to go on. I'm not used to working with others. And in my experience, the less people know, the better. I need you to deal with a few rad pits that have cropped up. It'll keep the trench just barely traversable for us. Take these stakes. They're filled with a chemical compound that neutralizes radiation hazards. I only have enough to spare for the worst of the worst. So gear up, track the rats to their source, then place the stake before your gear melts off. Keep your eyes peeled out there. Paying attention to your environment will be the difference between life and death.
is untraversable. The sanctum itself, the cathedral, it's crawling with fanatics. Them, and the unfortunate victims they're holding hostage. Sorry to say it's not going to be any more pleasant down there than it is up here. Let me know when you've steeled yourself. I see. Not beside you, no. I don't work like that. But I'll be nearby. Someone has to keep an eye on what's happening in the area. While well, you're knee-deep in gunfire, I'm ensuring you still have a path in. And a way out. Not unless you're already a ghoul and don't mind swimming through a sea of chemical waste. I know the trench. It's impossible. There's still work for it's an old cathedral. It used to belong to the Union. It was a safe haven from the dangers of this place. When the fanatics discovered it, they... Took over. Turned it into a labor camp. Now, there's no worse place to be in the pit. We Darkness, drugs, fear, death. It's quiet down there. Until it's not. My best advice to you is to keep your head on straight. Tread carefully, keep track of where you are. And when you hear the screams, remember. They're not yours. I see it not yet. Like yesterday. The trog 
Ducks are a major threat to anyone who gets sent down there. Even those protected by cage bars are tormented by the screams of less fortunate victims. I developed an explosive that's effective against trog nests. I call it troglicide. Pick up a canister, throw it in, kaboom. Lots of dead trogs. One last thing. There's a survivor here, Ava Rose. I wouldn't normally recommend getting involved with anyone, but Ava has something important to say. Consider being an audience before you head out. Who's hope? Hello, sweetie. May I ask what brought you to this troubled place? Then you are working to ease the suffering of those held captive at the Sanctum. A guardian angel walking among us. We all have the power to do it, but not all have the strength of will as you do. You let me know if there's anything I can do to help you, sweetie. Once, I stayed in the Sanctum, when it was a place of love and security. The lost souls who claimed it from us, they took their chains to every survivor, all except me. Their eyes turned away from me as I escaped, the Holy Spirit at my back. I was able to find liberation. Was I guided here, to this safe place outside the dark and toxic chasms? Yes, but no map did I follow. No direction was I given. I was guided here, to help those who remain. Oh, not a miracle, no. Only the Lord allowing me to do his work. He has lifted me up all my life for this purpose. I was born with a bad spine, bedridden for most of my childhood. But on the morn of my seventh birthday, I got out of my bed and walked. And when the bombs fell, heavens, I watched a man blister before my eyes. I curled up on the ground until it was silent. Rubble had fallen all around me. But I survived with what the Lord has given me. It's only right to stay and do what I can. Oh, sweetheart, my body may meet its time, but my soul is eternal. I have lived a long and healthy life on Earth. If the dangers of this place speed my passage to heaven, let it be so. Until then, I will do all that I can for those I leave behind. I believe they are suffering. They think themselves beyond salvation, so they march ever deeper into perdition. That is what Danilo thought. What he thinks, and now he has saved hundreds of lives. I've spoken to others, given them gifts, scarves of pure white. They may yet be convinced it is not too late. If only... If only I could... <coughs> Forgive me, sweetie. What was I saying? Me? Darling, no. I have everything I could need. 
but those who suffered and even perished under the cruelty of the fanatics. They need our compassion. Find their tracking collar, sweetheart. Bring them to me, so I may lay their souls to rest. If we cannot respect the memory of the dead, then there is no hope for the living. What? She really needs it. I didn't think anyone cared, especially not some stranger. Ava, I remember now. She gave me this scarf before I joined the fanatics. Back then, she said she knew I would choose the right path. What am I doing? This is all wrong. I have to get out of here. I don't know who you are, but thank you for snapping me out of it. Truly, what a blessing. Maybe one day I will see their face again, and we can speak of all they have still ahead of them. Everyone has it inside themselves. The will to do the right thing. Sometimes they need only a helping hand, someone to believe in them. The names on these collars. I will remember them well. Thanks to you, dearie. These poor souls need not walk to heaven alone. God be with you, child. Past here is the cathedral, 
fanatic's favorite prison camp. The captives here, they get beaten down into shells, then they're sent elsewhere. This is the reality of the bit for ordinary people. If you're not strong or cruel enough, everything but your life is stripped from you. Fanatics, lots of them. And the captives, human husks, will hardly react if you throw a grenade at their feet. Best to ignore them for now. We've done what we can for the folks underground, and we'll come back. Hardly. It's more of a dysfunctional, parasitic relationship. Any captives with the bright idea to sneak past the fanatics are dissuaded by the trogs. Or not. And they're torn to shreds on their way out. In return for the extra security detail, the fanatics take on some... occupational hazards. This isn't a heroic rescue mission. It's reality. We do what's viable and leave the rest. I know it's cruel, but if we're going to do anything at all, we have to work within our limitations. That mask is a necessity outside, but it obscures vision. Best to keep my peripherals clear when I can. Don't make me say it. There's only one way to know these parts as well as I do. Only one group with that much freedom in the pit. I can never change my past, but I can use it for better means. All the captives were tracking callers, as if escaping without them wasn't already hard enough. I've got a program to destroy the tracking data, but it's spread across multiple terminals, so you'll need to run the program on each one. If you go straight ahead, you'll emerge right in the middle of the cathedral. Instead, I recommend sneaking in through the catacombs on the right. It's your call. I'll unlock the gate now. Just don't die. Looks on their faces. Ha! Pathetic.
sanctum and back, with your soul intact. Not many can say they've done that. You made the smart choice, getting here as soon as possible. No use taking unnecessary risks. Like clockwork. I don't exactly know the physics behind it. Why it happens doesn't matter so much as preparing for it. It's like some kind of divine reckoning. Every night, this place is stripped bare. Only the worthy emerge from the ashes. Or maybe just those with a little extra luck. I'm not sure what I believe anymore. If you're expecting sentimentality, talk to Ava. You won't find it here. Doesn't mean I don't appreciate your work. You put your life on the line to help. That's more than most can say for themselves. Don't you know it's bad manners to ask a shadow where it's going? Shadows appear where the light can't reach. They give people a place to hide. A place to grieve. Sometimes, a place to conceal their blade and wait for an opportunity. If you come back, I'll be glad to work with you again. If not, that's probably best for you. Safe travels. Well, let's see. Two arms, two legs, a head full of good ideas. Bert's looking sharp, too. Looks like the trench ain't got nothing on Lennox. And you can tell me all about it when we get back. Hop in and I'll fire her up. I was out scavenging for food earlier. Only got attacked by scorched once. 